you, you know, uh, stay staying along the lines of business. Um, y'all had that crunk juice. What where the idea for crunk juice come from, and was your was, was y'all part of that deal? Because I always remember crunk juice. It it, it had John's face on it. Um. What, 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 were you part of it? What, is that a separate deal that was done? And and, and did y'all even help come up with the concept? Oh man, back at, just remember what I told you back with the record stuff. Just remember, hey, man, we got to deal with Mirror Image. Man, we got to deal with Itchabun. We just got to deal with TVT. Keep that in mind now. We on the bus. We on tour, you know, we doing our thing. And our DJ at the time was a uh, little bold cousin, Dirty Red. Shout out to Dirty Red, shout out to Sean. That was bold cousin. So we on the bus and um, he got cool with the lady from, we had did a show one time, a morning show. And um, they had Red Bull sponsored there, McDonald's sponsored there. And I remember he got cool with the um, marketing person from, the head marketing person from, Red Bull. So as maybe a couple of months went by and he was like, hey, the lady from Red Bull want to give y'all a, a Red Bull deal. Like, oh, for real? And so we were sitting there like, yeah, okay, cool, cool. So I say, and I got, I have a security guard that was John, that was our security guard that became John's security guard in the middle of being our security guard that'll tell you that I'm telling y'all the truth. To this day, he would tell you. So I'm like, yo, yo, how about we do this? Now, remember, I already had this, but it didn't have the energy drink on it. All this was the same. The star, the crop, that was the same. Mm -hmm. That's how my can was. It was already with that. It just had the energy drink on it. Now, I go, why we don't come up with our own energy drink and call it crump? Everybody always asking. Man, what's crunk juice? What's crunk juice? What y'all drink? What y'all drink? Let's call it crunk. Everybody like, yeah. Man, yeah, that'd be straight. That'd be straight. So we didn't entertain the Red Bull idea no more. I just remember we was on the bus one day and John calling me up to the front. Hey, Sam, come here. I go up there. He say, hey, um, check this out. I got us a crunk deal. I said, he got us a crunk deal. Matter of fact, we was on the Great Goose tour when he told me. I got us a crunk deal. So he don't got with the people with Grey Goose, the head people up there, and they don't came up with the with the deal or, or whatever. So he comes, he goes, yeah, man, um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get some can designs and this, that, the third. I'm like, okay. So he bring the cans on the bus one weekend. What you think about that? And it has this logo. Without the, it has this logo. I said, okay. Okay, who, all right. Who came up with that logo? Who came up with that logo? Crazy part about that. The guy that first did my gas cans came up with this logo. He asked, okay. what you want on there? I said, I want Crump, I want Eastside Boys, and I want Big Sam. And that's how my gas cans been the whole time. But now uh, my man Chopperelli made these now. And he made this from the beginning gas can I had. They just had this. And they had no energy drink or nothing on them. No. But, but I'm asking you that because I'm assuming you paid him for the logo, whether it was $10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I just paid $100 for the gas can. Okay, so wouldn't you own the rights yeah. to that logo then? Yeah. Now, check this out now. He okay. comes one day and say, hey, taste this. I taste it. I like, oh. he like all right, we're going to tweak it. We're going to tweak it. And he's like, you're going to put ashwagandha and this, that. I'm like, I don't know what all this stuff is. Then, Mind you, I'm thinking you doing, I'm thinking, okay, I gave you, the, I gave the idea for the group. I don't know how to facilitate it. You know how to facilitate. So I'm thinking, okay, you facilitating this for all of us. We're on tour now. We're on tour. It ain't like we sitting at home and I'm telling you this and you, no, we're on tour. He goes, brains, well, I like, oh, I like that one. So, okay, he like, bitch, that's what we're going to run with. So, okay, cool. Next thing I know, we're getting cases on the bus. Cool. Give me cake, you know, give me drinks out at the shows and stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Bet. We're taking pictures for Crunk. We're doing promo, everything for Crunk. We all, all us all in the Crunk can't throwing them up. Yeah, all that. 
We take it solo pictures for Crunk. Crunk done made us um, stickers to put on our cars to match our car colors and everything and every all this stuff, you know. But then when it comes time to, hey, they're going to have a cut a check. We're going to sign a contract. What are we going to do? John did all that. He signed the contracts. He did this. He did that. And then when I confronted him about it, he goes, oh, oh. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get them to give y'all some money. I'm like you gonna get them to give us some money? I say it's my idea. What are you talking about? How you gonna get them to give us some money when you signed the contract like it was your idea, but it was my idea for the whole group? I could have said bump it, just do it myself, but I'm not selfish like that. We're a group. If I could come up with an idea for us, I'm gonna come up with an idea for us. I'm not doing that. And it, and then and and when I think about it. It was so many people telling me back then, hey man, you need to do your solo stuff. You need to do your solo stuff. It was so many people telling me that. You need to do your solo stuff. You need to get away from him and do your solo stuff. So many people. So he comes back, he goes, hey, yeah, they're going to give y'all, um, they're going to give y'all uh, 30,000. I was like, they're going to give us 30,000? And they was already, he, first he was like, hey, they're going to give y'all free crunk. I'm like, give us free crunk. And they would send like 10 cases to the house. I'm like, I should be getting this anyway. It was my ideal. I kept saying that to him. But I'm like, okay, he's scrambling. Like he never saying, I know it's your idea. Or uh, now nah, it was my idea. He just keeps scrambling. Then I call him like, hey man, when they gonna cut a check? Oh, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them, send y'all some money. I'm like, yeah, all right. Then he called, they gonna send y'all 30,000. I'm like, 30,000? 30,000. I'm like, man, much as I've been promoting this crunk without it being crunk before, much as I've been promoting it after it was crunk, you tell me three years, two, three years later, they to my 30,000. I said, man, what up? And they sent the, they sent me a check for 30,000, right? I went and put it in my account. That man okay. called me back. Did, did, did the check come from? Came from crunk. Oh, yeah. Hit me up. Did it come from John's company or did it come directly from Red Bull? No, 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 no. It came from John's company. It came from Crunk. This check came from Crunk. Crunk LLC. So Crunk LLC was John's company? No, no, no. It came from the Crunk. He was part of that. He was part of the company. But the actual Crunk, the people that did the Crunk, uh -huh. they sent me a check. John was... John was a, 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 I guess you could say a partner or whatever, a partner or whatever. But at the end of the day, it was on paper, it's like John owned Crump. You know what I'm saying? That's on paper, it's like he owned Crump. But the check came from Crump. Whether John, whether it's John, whatever, it's came, it had Crump. It came from Crump. I put it in my account. He called me the next day saying, Hey, uh, did you cash that check? And I put it in my account. Now I'm in my head like, here we go this bullshit. He go, oh no, nah, no, nah, that was fifteen thousand for you and fifteen thousand for both. I said, man, you got me fucked up. Ain't no goddamn way. I said, that's in my account. Ain't no goddamn way. Went, man, you got to get that out your account. You got to get out your account, cause I like, man, what up? So I I called the bank, got him. Take check out whatever we had to pay that little fee. Wow. And um, yeah, and then that, um, about a couple of days later, I got a check for fifteen thousand. I said, man, this is crazy, man. This this is crazy. And, you know, that's by the time everything started unraveling. People didn't know it was unraveling behind the scenes. Like we was never those people that be in the public light. Man, you got nah, we had a lot of stuff behind the scenes. You know. Wow. Um. It's crazy, man. Like, being in it at the time, it didn't seem like that. But like I said, when the group broke up and I had time to reflect on everything, it's like, wow. I ain't see none of that. And that's crazy, man. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move.
I catch you all on the next video.